Hey guys, welcome back for another weekly grind video where we go over all the events and summons or banners that are available on both the JP and global side of Dokkan Battle. So without further ado, there's a lot to go over today, let's try and keep it under 20 minutes. First off, Extreme Z Awakening runs until 329, this is where you take your OG cards, your OG leader abilities, and make them a lot better. So this one is going to be for the Super Saiyan 3 Goku. It takes a lot to go through this, I did a video, two, two videos, one of Team Building Guide and another of the team that I use to personally beat level 30. Go ahead and check out both of those videos if you're looking on how to how I beat it and ways to do it. Honestly, the only ways you're really going to do it is if you have the actual revival category units and they have to be technique. Um, and like you have to have like Kid Boo and the at least you have to bring a friend golden revived Frieza with the angel halo around it. Um, outside of that, it's going to be very difficult for you to do this. You need to get extremely lucky. I got really lucky. And unless you have uh, the revived Frieza, it's going to be a very, very difficult event. This runs until 329. That's available every day. Make sure that you, you know, when you go up against it, it's it's zero stamina. You're just going to need to grind out a lot. Anyway, good luck if you guys are going for that. Next one is going to be the true resurrected from hell, Frieza. This is the Frieza I was telling you about. His banner is available as well, which we'll talk about in a minute. This runs until 331. As of right now, there's no nothing specific that can beat him really well. Um, you do get a free drop of him from the Z-Hard stage. He does link well with this Frieza. I did, I did a team building video right before... Um, I created this video, so and that's actually for the, the JP side, but you're going to go ahead, if you want to check that out tomorrow, I know that's what I'm going to release it. These two guys share like five or six link skills, <clears throat> so they are very they do very well together. I think they share over like 35% uh, attack buffs and like six key or something like that, so it's ridiculous. They do really, really, really well together. Um, so I definitely recommend getting up to Super Attack 10 if you don't have anyone good to link with this Frieza. So that essentially means if you don't have any Golden Freezes like the Tech one or the Agility one, go ahead and do that. Um, anyway, <clears throat> outside of that, this is a pretty easy event. Um, if you have uh, the, the newer units, obviously. I haven't taken it on myself on the global side, but go ahead, check it out. This is where you get the medals in order to Doken Wake and your Revive Freezer. This is available daily un until 331. Next event is going to be the Resurrection of, Ed of Ed uh, the Resurrection of F Event Returns. <clears throat> and it's going to be available... On the next event is going to be the Resurrection F Event. It's going to be available until 330. This runs uh, daily until 3.30. This is where you're going to go ahead and get the Dokken Waken medals in order to Dokken Waken that free-to-play Intelligence Mecha Freeze that you get from the Strike event. You can Dokken Awaken him into a Golden Freeze then Z Awaken him to increase the Super Attack of any Golden Freeze, not the Angel variant, up to Super Attack 10. So if you have the Technique Freeze, get him up to Super Attack 10 by doing this method. Um, outside of that, you could also go ahead and grind out Weiss medals, Weiss medals, or medals, Weiss support items. They're really, really good for Super Battle Road. I highly, highly recommend grinding them out. Get at least like 200 of them. You're going to need them. Um, outside of that, uh, yeah, that's about it. Uh, you can get Bulma Metals, which is really good for attack buffs. Five turns, attack plus 25%. And Marin is good for other easier events for all enemies attack minus 25% for three turns. Outside of that, that's really all worth mentioning from this event. This is actually a really good event, guys. So if you haven't already done so, go ahead and grind it out and... You know, it is a little bit of a grind fest for that Frieza, but you at least have the ability to increase the super attack that way. Uh, next is going to be 10 billion power warriors here for until 323 daily. Uh, go away, two more days and you're gone. Uh, these Koras do not feed into the Intelligence Kora, the one that is available from Summons. They do not feed into him, not even the Intelligence one, and none of them do, so don't think that. Go ahead, grind out, like, Dragon Stones, do the rewards in order to get the Dragon Stones. Outside of that, these guys aren't really worth it. Some of them are cool because, like, this one will recover 5% HP, and the attack one will decrease the enemy's attack by 20%. Uh, outside of that, um, they're, they're not really worth it. Um, anyway, that's this event. Runs for two more days. Go ahead and grind it out if you want to. At least get the Dragon Stones. Next one is the LR Freeza stage. It's available daily. Um, actually, it's ended, but the new LR Freeza stage is here. We can go ahead and close out of that. My bad. Uh, but now we're moving over to the summons. This is available to 4-4. We have the new agility summon banner available. This is where you get your two support units. You got your pen and you have Rildo. They're both support units for their both super and extreme teams. And you also get two Elder Kai's. Plus, you have Majin Vegeta available to summon from this pool. He is a very low rate, but go ahead. Good luck. Hopefully, you can get him. I have him. He's a really awesome unit. Um, outside of that, you also have the Vegeta Giant Ape, I guess, is one of the featured units. He's all right. Like, he's cool, I guess. He's an extreme unit, so he doesn't link well. I mean, he links well with the um, with the Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta, but he doesn't get any of the buffs. So whatever, what can you do, right? Um, I think Tor is the best one for that Vegeta in order for Vegeta to do the most damage. Anyway, this runs until the fourth. Go ahead and do that if you're looking for Elder Kai's or if you want these two support units for your mono agility team. 
next is the Extreme Z Dokkan Festival. So you have Cell and Broly. Uh, personally, Broly is not my, I'm not a big fan of the Broly, but he is there. He can be very useful on your team if you're running up on the Extreme Z Awakening. He can do decent. He just doesn't tank well as it is, and he doesn't have any type of advantage against the Super Saiyan 3 Goku at all. So he will get hit really hard. But the Cell does really well against him. That Cell's really, really useful. And if you're looking to do this, the Extreme Z Awakening, you don't have that Super Saiyan 3 Goku because you've been, you have started playing well after he was available and you don't have any of them. This is probably going to be one of the best ways you can go ahead and get him. Good luck on your summons if you want to do that. I'm not going to recommend doing it, but if you guys are going for him, good luck. I hope you get him. Uh, next is going to be the Re Resurrected Warrior ba Banner. This runs up to the 4th as well. You have a whole bunch of Resurrected Warriors. I'm not going to lie, these are, these are not actually that bad. Um, <clears throat> I don't personally use this Super Saiyan 2 Goku, uh, but this Kid Buu isn't going to be horrible, especially depending on the type of team you're running for your extreme tech type. Um, you also have the other Good Buu, the um, SSR Strength Good Buu, Intelligence to Strength. He's actually really good for the World Tournament. If you have LR Broly, you're definitely going to come in. He's definitely going to come in handy for you there. I personally run him because he gets the buffs from the leader ability uh, in the World Tournament. But uh, anyway, outside of that, I think we're all set here. This is a decent banner if you don't have any Resurrected Warriors, if you happen to pull the Frieza. I wouldn't recommend doing it unless you really want these units. Personally, I think the best one's going to be the Bardock just because he seals. The other good unit that's available on this banner is going to be Majin Vegeta. Majin Vegeta is an attack all unit, an AoE unit. So the only thing about him is in the, during the World Tournament, you're going to need a nuker leader in order for him to attack everyone and kill everyone. Just keep that in mind. Um, so he's a good unit, but you need to have a special condition set up for him. And in the in the actual uh, tournament, when you're going up up against it in the world tournament, you're probably going to die with that nuclear leader on level 30. It's very difficult to do anything good there. Next one is going to be the revived Frieza banner. Now I talked about this. I think this is a really good banner personally. Um, I got the kid Boo from it. That's all I wanted from this banner because my free my full power freeze is 100%. Korra is a support unit. You don't need him. And the Frieza and Super Saiyan 3 Goku should be on the Super Saiyan 3 Barok banner. Now, um, I don't know how well that's going to be set up. I don't know what's going to be on the Super Saiyan 3 Bardock banner. But when it comes out, he did have both of them. So I'm not going to summon any more on it. I didn't get Frieza. But if you guys are looking for it, definitely go for it if you want to. Especially if you're looking for another Kid Buu or your first Kid Buu. Probably going to be a good banner for you to pull on. This ends on the 331, so you have 10 more days left on that. Now we're moving here to the JP side of Dokkan Battle. Story event reprint, Dragon Ball Super Space Edition. So this is just the, the, uh, the Universe Survival Saga event. Um, you go over here, stage 3 is Ultra Instinct Go Goku, that Dokkan Wake is the Ultra Instinct. Kachin Metal is on stage 4 for Baba Shop. Um, I talked about this last week too. Yurin is on stage 8, you can grind her out if you want to. Um, Gohan, Ultimate Gohan is on stage 9, you can increase the super attack of any, ultra, of any Ultimate Gohan. Uh, again, I prefer to do Strength, Intelligence, Physical, then Agility. That's my, that's my recommendation to you, to do what you think is best. Uh, you have Revival Frieza over here, the, the Angel Frieza Final Form. You can feed him into any other Final Form Frieza. The Agility one that's now available, though, um, or that is available, it's been available on the JP side for a while from the Revival event, he comes as an SSR, so you can grind that out, too, for the same exact type of card uh, if you want to. You also get some Babas and um, some uh, Ghost Ushers over here, so those are also really useful items. Uh, you have the Frieza Awakening Medals on Stage 11 and Goku Awakening Medals on Stage 12. In order for him to Doku Awaken to Ultra Instant Goku, so you don't need to increase the super attack of your Ultra Instant Goku. Uh, next one is going to be the Extreme Z Awakening of the Super Saiyan 3 Goku is back on the JP side. I already went over it on the global side, so we're not going to talk about it. It goes until 4 or 5. Next one is the new Fierce Battle event is available for the Ultra Instant Goku. So Ultra Instant Goku finally has a Doku Awakening. I have not done a review of it yet. I will be doing that probably on Friday. So keep posted if you want to see that video. Um, you get medals from this event in order to Dokkan Awaken him. He's a really useful unit, honestly. Uh, really cool looking unit. I kind of wish that they did the whole surfing energy wave type of uh, attack. Maybe they'll do that with an LR one day. Um, overall, that's there. You can From this event, you also can Dokkan Awaken the Strength Blue Goku blue card into a better unit. You could finally Dokkan Awaken the two God Ku, the Strength and the Agility ones, finally Dokkan Awaken. Um, this one's really good. He has a lot of good attack links. Uh, this one's really good because he does really good on the Universe Survival Saga team, which you guys will see in a video tomorrow when it goes live. Overall, really good event. Go ahead and grind it out. Um, it's definitely going to be a pain in the butt, but you could at least do it. <clears throat> Next one is going to be the new story event for the Universe Survival Saga as well. Um, looks like it's going to run until 4-5. Um, this is where you get the Khalifa, the Kale, two free-to-play units. The Kale is actually really good because her Dokkan variant is a really, really good support unit for the Universe Survival team. It's key plus two, attack and defense plus 30% um, for Universe Survival members. So go ahead and grind her out. You definitely want her at Super Attack 10. 
um, and Doken Awaken her for that team if you plan on running that team with a Jiren leader. Um, overall, really good unit. Uh, Khalifa is a good subpar unit if you don't have the agility one. Um, she does have the ability to dodge like 50% as long as you're running a Universe Revival Saga team. So really good setup. You also have Doken Awaken medals for Kaba. Um, those medals make him a really viable unit. He will have a 50% chance to crit if you're running him on a Universe Revival Saga team. That's uh, available on Stage 6. And Stage 7, you have the Kale and Khalifa medals. So go ahead, grind that out. Really good event. I haven't even touched it yet, but I will be grinding it out personally. On the JP side, I also don't think I have Khalifa. I don't know if I have Khalifa. I think I might have pulled her recently, uh, but I'm not sure. The next one is going to be um, the other breakdown. This is Universe 6 uh, event. This is where you get the Kaba, by the way, the free-to-play Kaba, the one that I just told you his Doken Awakening medals are here on Stage 6. Uh, you get his base form here. You get the medals to Doken Awaken him into Super Saiyan, then he Doken Awakens again from this event over here. So you should be all set up. Hit's available from this. Well, at least the Doken Awakening medals for Hit is on this event. You have the Choppa and the Vados medals. Um, in order to Doken Awakening Kaba, you need the Vegeta, Vados, and Champa medals. And that's about it. So you have Vados medals on Stage 2. Kaba is available to grind out in Stage 6. But, uh, Vegeta, Stage 7. And Champa medals are Stage 8. Very good event and worth grinding out, personally. I definitely recommend getting Kaba. Uh, outside of that, that runs again until the 5th. So you have some time to grind that out if you're looking to do so. You have the Low Class Warrior event for Raditz. It's available till 4.10. Um, not really a big event. Go ahead, grind out the Dragon Stones. You get Raditz from Stage Two and his Doken Wake medals from Stage Four. I don't personally find any use in it, but whatever. It's a still a fun. It's a fun event, and you can go ahead and grind it out. Um, that's available for a while. You have the same banner that's available on the global side for the Extreme Z Awakening or the Extreme um, Doken or yeah, Extreme Z Awakening units. You have the Super Saiyan Three Broly, the Super Saiyan Three Goku, and the Revival Frieza. Um, that's definitely worth. It's not Revival Frieza. Sorry, the Tech Frieza. Really good event, really good units. Um, I don't know if you're going to want to pull on it. If you happen to have that Goku, you haven't Doken Awakened him yet, or Extreme Z Awakened him yet because you don't have those units, this might be the time to go ahead and do that. Um, it runs until the 5th again. Not really going to tell you to or not to pull on it. It's really up to you and depends on how you want to run and what your goals are. Uh, the next one is going to be the new Dokkan Fest that's available. This is the actual banner. This is the Jiren banner, and it has Goku on it. Um, the Ultra Instinct Goku that now Doken Awakens. You also get a new Android 18, which is pretty cool. As you'll see tomorrow, she actually is a really useful unit, especially for, like, Kefla. Um, so keep that in mind. Kefla and, I believe, Android 18 are re two really good units that she that she links well with, uh, links decent with, and she definitely helps sets them up because she's a Kira manipulator. But Jiren is freaking nuts, dude. His team is awesome. You'll see that tomorrow when the video goes live. Uh, Ultra Instinct Goku, uh, uh, something else really awesome. Um, Jiren doesn't Doken Awaken yet. When he does it, he's going to be even more phenomenal. Um, outside of that, it's a really good banner. It's a cool banner. Um, you could definitely summon on it if you want to. You have Kale, Khalifa, and Kefla available on it as well. They do really well on this team also. So keep that in mind. Um, last but not least, you have the Mono Strength Banner. You can go ahead, you get two Elder Kai's per summon like you typically do. You have the Bardock, which is really good support. You have the Goku card, which is really good attack. And the other two support is Hit for Extreme Strength and Kaba for Super Strength. You also have LR Broly available on it. That runs until the 26th, so you have five more days. But anyway, guys, that's it. That is every event that's currently available on the Global and JP side. I hope I was very informative. I'm sorry if I missed anything. If I did, please let me know in the comments below. Thank you all for joining me here today, and I'll catch you all later. Peace.